So here it is. We have. Let me start over. Hey guys. So fellow VR developers, this is the Target Arena, the Shooter 360 from the uh, Unity Asset Store VR samples. Uh, th these are some really cool uh, sample games, but they're just working with the Oculus. So um, what I've done here is port these over to the Google Cardboard SDK 0.6. So if you download the VR samples 1.1 and the and the cardboard SDK for Unity version 0.6 from Google uh, and you integrate them into this package, that's what we've done here. So let's check it out. Target Arena. So one cool thing when you look around the uh, the UI following you like this um, but your arms also nicely following you around and not in a static position it's it's uh, smoothly interpolating the, the arm as you rotate your head all right so click the button and it shows a timer here when this timer goes out times over but you got to shoot these with your cardboard button so play it for yourself it's a really cool game um, the changes that I made here uh, well before I get into that there's a link to the Dropbox uh, click that link it also has the project settings and a zip file if you want to copy those project settings um, into your project but uh, and then the way that I convert these I have a separate uh, tutorial on that it's called how to convert the VR samples projects to Google Cardboard so check that out for a <clears throat> detailed tutorial but basically you disable the main camera I created a root game object here called player so that in case you want to move the camera later you can because uh, if your camera is just a root object like this it cannot be moved in VR um, so at least if you're using the Oculus SDK. Cardboard lets you do that. But anyways, I put the player <clears throat> as a root game object. Then we got the cardboard main under that. And what I do is I copy all the components from the main camera onto the cardboard main. So you see there it has all the same components. And then you have to go through each of the public fields here like this and make sure that they're objects that are underneath. You see here it says camera. And before it would have been here. So you got to update everything. Click on it like this to see where it highlights. And if it's not a child of cardboard main, you need to drag it over and update it. So once that's done, you actually have to do that for the entire game. For example, shooting gallery has a few references to cardboard main that you need to update. Uh, the weapon does as well. And then when I got done, it was all working, but the arm was not following. The arm was doing some funny stuff. So I moved the arm to child, a cardboard main. And of course that worked, but it was totally static. The arm just was, you know, like a robot. <clears throat> so um, I modified this shooting gallery gun script. This is the only script that has modification in this. And the, the only place where I modified anything was right here in the update. And I commented out this top section. I just forgot about that. I do I do move the game object to the camera. So the gun object gets moved to the camera. And by the way, the shooting gun gallery is on the object right here. Shooter weapon. Shooting gallery gun. This is the only script that you need to update to get it to work. How this one's working here the way that I did it anyways. And you move the game up. So then after that, you, f you get a coordination which... Um, it finds a rotation of the gun to be pointed at the at the the reticle wherever you're looking, um, and then it smoothly interpolates the gun's rotation. And so for that, before it was getting the gun container rotation, and that just wasn't working right. So what I did was I just took my transform dot rotation, and I set that to uh, do a linear interpolation here. Um, between where the arm is at and where you want it to be at where the where the gaze is looking so 
anyways if you just do this uh, that'll 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 fix the problem um, I'll copy this whole entire script and put it onto a paste bin the link is in the description if you want to uh, but you just need to do this anyways but if you want to take a look at it on paste bin check the link all right you guys thanks for watching try this out on VR it does of course take the cardboard button if you if you don't have a cardboard button working you're gonna have to get that but other than that, it's up and working, and it's a cool little shooter game. So thanks to Unity for the VR samples. Thanks to Google for the Google Cardboard SDK for Unity. Because the, and all I've done here is put these two together. So anyways, hope you have fun with it. Really cool VR game here, guys. Uh, if you like the video, put a like and subscribe for more VR-related development videos coming up right here.